So here's a small section of the music sheet that I'm going to be transferring over to GarageBand. And I'm going to write that on a piece of paper and show you how I get the letters from it. Okay, I'm not 100% if this is called a bar or a measure or what this is called, but this is the first section in between the lines on the music sheet for the top half. If you look at the music sheet, you'll notice that there's two sets of notes and I think I'm pretty sure that the top one's for your right hand the bottom one's for your left hand if you're playing the piano and on this music sheet they've got I think they'd be called eighth notes and these are the notes how it's read and I'll show you how I get the letters from this so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to write see if you can see that from the bottom up in in between the lines, you're going to write face. So basically, zoom in there, you've got your F in between the lines, and then your G is on the line, and then A in between the lines, B is on the line, C in between the lines, D on the line, E in between the lines, F on the line, and then G would be, the next one would be in between the lines. And if you look at this note, it has a line on it. And so this note is an A. Okay, so let's do the next one. So F, A, C, and then D is on the line. So, or the D would be the next one. And that one's a D. F, A, C, E, and then the next one is F, and then again, A. So the first bar or the first measure is gonna go A, D, F, A, and then D, A, or sorry, <laughs> F, A, D. So A, D, F, A, D, F, A, D. And that's how I get the letters. And now let's open up GarageBand and I'll show you how we put these letters into GarageBand. Okay, I guess before we go into that, I just wanted to show you on the keyboard, get an idea for when we go into GarageBand. I've got them sort of written on here. You can see that uh, the letters are actually on here. But this note right here would be a C. And then it goes D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, etc. So from the start, we've got C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and then back to C, right? So everywhere you see on a keyboard where there's the two black keys, and the three black keys, that's an octave. So you have one, two, three, four, five on this keyboard. We're gonna be playing in the right section for the right hand for this song. And so I'll show you that on GarageBand as well. When you open up the editing part for the keyboard, you'll notice that it has the octave C1, C2, etc. So C, D, E, F, G, A, B would be the notes. And we're going to go up to the fourth octave for this song. Okay, we're going to open a new project. And then once we have that open, we're going to choose keyboard under the tracks. And then we're going to record a small section just so we can save it. And after we recorded it, we're going to go back out and we're going to rename my song to Stay Strong, which is the name of the song from the music sheet. So after you've named it, you're going to want to open up the file and go over to the track view, click on the classical grand and extend it to four bars. 
and then you're gonna hit the plus on the top right corner and you're gonna change the bars to four. Once you finish that, I want you to click on the green and highlight it green and then click and hold on it and hit the edit button. That will bring you into the edit view. Go over and on the top left corner, you're gonna to wanna to unlock it and then delete the two notes that, uh, or the notes that you recorded to be able to save it. And get over to the section where you're in between C4 and C5. And you're gonna start punching in your notes. So here we have A. I like to zoom in until I can get the right view so you can use your fingers to zoom in and zoom out both up and down and then D so C or sorry A D F A D F and continue punching in all of the notes that you've recorded off of the music sheet until you have it finished and you can watch as I do that. <laughs> 